<laughs> they police the fucking. The police, the the police, the the police, police department. Yeah. <laughs> and police, the police is the police. The police department. What you mean? The fucking. The police <laughs> <fucking. laughs> department. You get it. You get yeah. it. You get a ticket. Go to court, nigga. And the judge would even be different. It'd be the, uh, the judge would be like, "How was the pussy?" <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what's your judgment on the pussy? Like, you wouldn't be messing with the judicial system. You'd be messing with the judicial <laughs> system. <laughs> You, might, you gotta go to the uh, j judicial system and but that's get the your problem right. with, with bitches with bitches hoeing and not admitting to hoeing accountability right. nigga uh, it's no checks and balances no checks and yeah. balances you could just nigga. make up rules yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. you you technically you well there are checks and balances to hoeing to actual real hoeing hoes well to hoes. that's what I'm saying hoes is like. Prostitutes, prostitutes, right. sluts is the chicks that's just fucking for free. Yeah, but but see that's the but that's everybody. Right. Human nature is to think because I got a high self, uh, I got a high a high viewpoint of myself that since I think I'm better than you, even though we're doing the same exact thing, when I'm doing it, it ain't the same. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. Bras got that fucked up. They got females the, got that fucked up more than anybody because uh, anybody like uh, over men because the chick was like, oh, she a hoe. Why wow, yeah. did she fuck four niggas last last week? Yeah. yeah, I just fucked this one nigga. Bitch, you still, let me tell you something. Yeah. Being a hoe ain't got nothing to do with how many people you fucking. Mm -hmm. Right. It's about deception. Mm -hmm. If you use pussy mm -hmm. to deceive somebody, mm -hmm. to get something you want out of them, you a motherfucking hoe. Mm -hmm. It ain't got nothing to do... You understand what I'm saying? Because even in the pimping and horn game, it's all about the game. Is about selling a motherfucker a dream. Mm -hmm. It's about you know what I'm saying. Yeah, his fantasy. Right. Mm -hmm. It's about making. It's about coming with some type of game so that so somebody will break their pockets. That's what yeah. pimping and horn is about. Stripping too. Same right. Thing. Just because you ain't walking up and down the blade and you know what I'm saying getting the athlete's foot out there, bitch, don't mean you ain't no hoe. <laughs> get chin, get chin yeah. Bitch, had to get chin like a motherfucker. <laughs> bitch, you got turf toe like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you better be. Uh, they got on the heels and shit. <laughs> you know, Blitzes uh, on their heels, nigga. Mm. That's why we got to change the rules. I think the relationship dichotomy is dated. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Promiscuity is human nature. Right. You want to fuck <clears throat> other people regardless of how much... You can only be loyal to one motherfucker. Right. You know what I'm saying? True. You can't have two niggas you loyal to. You, period. Point blank. You know what I'm saying? But for some reason... those. Why are, is that? Because loyalty... Somebody can lie to. Right, right. Look, you're loyal to what you believe in. What, whatever idea you and a person decide to cultivate together, your loyalty is to that bond or that or that or that commonality that you guys have, and you develop whatever it is you guys have together, and you're loyal to that. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times when people break up, it's because that that idea that they've come up with together, they no longer believe in that idea. That person is still the same person, hmm. but you feel like you've outgrown that viewpoint or that way of thinking. And you think that it's cause, and you think you don't no longer want to fuck with that person when really you're no longer in agreement with the ideas or the collective of ideas that you guys have established together yeah. as, as the rules of what you of, of engagement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You feel like you're bigger and better than that now, so I need to find somebody else who's thinking how I'm thinking right now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You don't you don't want to run them plays no more. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, either you break up with somebody because they not thinking on the same wavelength that you thinking on or the same agreements that you guys set for each other. And or you break up with the person because you decide not to fuck with those agreements anymore. Right. Hmm. <clears throat> Whether you got more money now, so now you're feeling yourself, you didn't lost some weight, mm -hmm. or you feeling yourself now, I'm no longer willing to accept the terms of our agreement together. Right, right. I'm moving mm -hmm. on. Yes. Or you've been tripping. You nigga broke the terms of our agreement and now I ain't fucking with you no more. Right. And when a woman <clears throat> leaves you, what it is and for somebody else, she has decided that the way this person thinks and their viewpoint and the way they do things is is somehow either more progressive or better than what we had. You know what I'm saying? So what they're doing is they say they're breaking this agreement and they're falling in alignment with the new one, whatever that may be. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? They've decided to you know what I'm saying, to subjugate themselves to this new nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they view it as I fell out of love with you. And that's why I'm saying you can't be loyal to two motherfuckers. Unless these two motherfuckers are in the greens that, okay, we're going to share this bra. Right. Hmm. Which is like, if, if a chick love you and she love you, 
I think you can love two motherfuckers at the same time, but love and loyalty is different. We didn't discuss that before. Right. I think you can love two men, and you can love two females, but you only can be loyal to one of them. Right. Completely mm -hmm. loyal. I feel that. Because I feel like if me and you, it's a jig that we and me and you both fucking with, she loves us both, but then she can do some things that's accord, that's on, that's on code with you, but ain't on code with me. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Unless unless we both in the greens that hey man, we gonna share this chick and we gonna have these sets, these sets of rules and mm -hmm. agreements with her and she's gonna buy by both of them. Right. Well, I guess you can be loyal to two niggas, but they gotta be on the same accord. Yeah. But see, loyalty I think is the result of someone who accepts your thinking. It's more about how you process information, how you related to that person, and if they can understand it. You know what I'm saying? I think that's where loyalty comes into play. But um, no, I, mean, I think I think loyalty is based off of of their own thinking. So it's not what you think; it's if your thinking aligns with what they're thinking. Right. That's what that. But Any it, kind of way. Right. 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 Because you can be showing something totally different, and you could be just bullshitting the whole time. But as long as you're in accordance with my thinking, then I'll be loyal to you. Or you can <clears throat> let's say a man and a woman. A man says, "This we gonna go down this yeah. path." And this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. And she can be loyal to you even if she doesn't agree with that way of thinking. She's like, mm -hmm. I don't think that's the right way. Right. But this is my man. Right. And I'm going to follow this nigga into right. a fucking ring of fire if I have to because right. I love him. Right. And I'm loyal to him. Even right. though I don't agree with the fuck he's doing. But right. I do agree initially that a chick or a person who's loyal to someone else because they buy into what you are putting out mm -hmm. there. Right. They agree with it. But it doesn't mm -hmm. always have to be that case. Right. right. And you do things to show. Mm hmm that okay, this is how I think. But we're on autopilot so we don't know that. You know what I'm saying? So like, autopilot. Us as men, when we deal with women and women deal with us, we have a way of going about shit and it just naturally comes out of us how we show women subconsciously, I'm I'm a good suitor for you. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Some niggas may be debate and argue and argumentative. That's his style. He lets the bitch know the nigga bitch, I'm done, this is me. Bitch, this yeah. is what I'm on. And this is, you know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. his style. Mm -hmm. My style may be a little bit different. Your style may be a little bit different. But we all have things that we naturally do without even being conscious of it. Mm -hmm. When we get around a woman that you we teach want to fuck, we, yeah. and, and this is how we get them to see. This is what I'm bringing to the table, bitch. Right. I'm bringing, I'm, this, you, you know. know you, you don't even have to say it. Yeah, it just you comes out of you. Show, yeah. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. You know, so, you know. But that goes to my next point. So do you think that it's possible to be with a woman and allow her to fuck other niggas. Ooh. Yeah. Here's the thing. Yeah. Like how you with your group, you know what I'm saying? How you are now on that level. It depends, man, because I, I used to go through this thing when I was like, I'm going to be like my dad. My dad told me one time, not one time, he told me years, for years, that he wanted kids more than he wanted a wife. Mm. That he wanted kids by good women. And that's, he was okay with that. He didn't necessarily need a wife, but he did want kids by good women. Hmm. And he kind of did that a little bit. I mean, he married my mom, mm -hmm. but my mother was the only woman that he had kids by that he actually legally married. Hmm. But all the other women, not all the other women, it's a couple others, but, and they good, they were good mothers, decent mothers. And they were solid women. And that was his plan. So I was thinking, yeah, I, I grew up wanting like a wife and kids. And I was like, I went through a couple of years where I was thinking like, I think I'm going to do that. I'm gonna find some, some two or three solid ass women, give them one or two babies each, mm -hmm. and then just be a single man. Which means that I can still fuck with them, mm -hmm. and they can fuck whoever they want to fuck with. That's mm -hmm. preferred. You know I, I, don't get me wrong, I would love to have one that I could be with, but that right there, yeah. the older I get, the more that makes more sense yeah. for me. I see that, I see that work. I see my dad on his deathbed have three different women at his, at his bedside. You see that work on, on different levels though. Yeah, because he had to be the, the the right kind of man to. Right, you got to be able. You got to be that caliber of dude that can pull that off. Yeah. See, no, somebody said polygamy. I would consider myself pol uh, a one way polygamist. Man, I'm doing all the fucking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Y'all yeah. 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 you know gotta hey, stay y'all at yeah. home. Y'all yeah. bitches can fuck each other. Right. But you, I mean, yeah, ain't no ain't no other swipe <laughs> coming in there. I just don't know if I could accept that from a woman I'm having kids with. I get it. And I'm paying bills that's, for. That's a, that's an ego blow if you if you let it be. I but get it. That's the thing. For so, some so niggas, wait a minute. So you're talking about paying bills? Why are you paying bills for a woman? Here's the thing. If I can't, that's the question. Here's the thing. I ain't no sucker, my nigga. 
straight up and down. Mm -hmm. But if I got all these requirements as a man, I got to mm -hmm. be bringing something to the table. Right. Mm -hmm. It ain't about paying for a bitch and paying for pussy. Mm -hmm. It's about I got this way of thinking mm -hmm. that I'm putting into the world. Mm -hmm. I got this stance as a man, mm -hmm. and I have to be able to stand on that, and I have to be able to provide the necessary environment to articulate that frame of thought. I can't just say I want shit a certain way and want a woman to act a certain way, and I can't provide, I can't set the table. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm a coach, and I ain't got no playbook. Right. We just showing up freelancing. You got to set the environment. And every situation is different. You know what I'm saying? If you, to, to, to truly have a great perspective on what it is you do, you got to analyze your entire environment and you got you to gotta, you gotta build your game around that environment. Meaning, yeah, you might in your head be this breadwinning, solid, got everything going nigga, but mm -hmm. your, your woman might make way more money than you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So so you have to design a different set of rules for that situation. You know what I'm saying? Now the principles remain the same as far as being a man, remain solid. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Be somebody your girl can depend on mm -hmm. and lean on emotionally and all whatever you may have, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Right. But at the end of the day, every woman is different. It ain't no cookie cutter shit going on. Mm -hmm. But the, the the thing is about controlling your environment, setting the tone, developing the rules about around what's in front of you. Exactly. You know so how many people are really going out there and telling women and, and and being honest with women and saying, being accountably honest with women and saying, look, this is how many girls I have on the side. This is what I'm doing. Only a handful. You can't you can't lead with the sexual fucking shit if you're not the breadwinner. You can't. Uh, no, no, this is what I'm saying. If you, when it comes to fucking other bitches and you're not together, I'm talking about you in a committed relationship. Living with your chick, y'all, y'all, y'all doing some real adult shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can't if you're not the breadwinner. Then how can you justify for a long or extended period <clears throat> of time? How can you justify your frame of thought if there's no fruits of your labor in front of her? Because you might be providing for her more than financial currency. Right. She might be like, nigga, I make more money. I make way more money. Than my man, my husband, my boyfriend, whatever. However, this nigga provides major the, meat. The major meat and that, or man, and, and no. or this nigga the, the kind of advice, life 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 advice, mm -hmm. life goals, tutelage that this nigga gives me. I've never gotten from anybody, any other man in my life, not even my father. Yeah, that, so I, I value that from this nigga. Yeah, we could be the reason why she make that much money. Right, you could be. You, you know could what I'm be. It's, it, it's equivalent to, I just watched this show called The 100, right? And mm -hmm. every, on this show, I watched four seasons of it, and I've been, I've been watching the show, I'm like, damn, all the fucking commanders in these tribes were women. And mm -hmm. why the fuck they got these, why is every commander a woman? Right. And, you know, the show, the, the small part of me that's a show, and it's like, where the fucking kings at? Right. All these fucking leaders are, are women, commander queens. Mm -hmm. and, and, but almost every chick, every commander in these different villages and tribes, their voice of reason is a man. Right. And it's like using like a big ass, swole, strong, very stern right. and focused man. Right. He's like her 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 sidekick. Right. In a sense. And I'm like and then one there was one scene where why don't you just take control of her? I said, It's not about control. She confides in me. She 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 has more power than I do. Right. But without me her power wouldn't be. Right. You know what I'm saying? Without my tutelage, without she was like I could, without him I wouldn't be able to rule like I do. Right. So a chick who who makes more money in the household can see this nigga value this man as such a entity for her because he you know he he don't make the money that she does. She's the real woman, but this nigga's or this his presence to what he says to her, how he what he what he when she comes home and confides this nigga for whatever reason, looks for advice or whatever, he can provide that for her. Now, yeah, if he, you gotta, you gotta as opposed to going and dumping this nigga and going getting the nigga that got way more money than she does, and, and but he he ain't got no substance. He just got paper. But it, it, that don't mean she gonna leave you. No, no, I, just, I didn't say she would. I'm saying, right, right. But you were saying, but a nigga like him could propose something like fucking other broads if he got the right game. Not necessarily game, but but if he has the right things to say to her and his the way he carries himself, she respects and values. So most of the time, <clears throat> a chick that's making more money than you is not going to. 
respect you or stick around unless she believes in where you are going. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? But there comes a point in time where what if you get to where you're going and it doesn't produce what she thought it would? Okay. She has to have real, realistic expectations. Well, who sets and those expectations? You do. Yeah. Okay, so, you know what I'm saying? You so gotta be a certain you type can't, of man. You can't, you can't come in here and tell me you expect me to to be a millionaire. I don't want to be a millionaire. This is what I want to do. What this if a nigga is a, 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 a professor, a college professor, yeah. and he makes 